How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid. Unfortunately today, I'm bringing some pretty sad news. John Romero is no longer allowed to release any more unused assets or development content related to classic Doom. Since the 90s, John Romero has always been very generous when it comes to releasing development content. Doom had only been out for a few years when the various alpha builds were made public in the id games archive, so there's been a long-standing history of those cool little crumbs from the cutting room floor being shared with the community. And once again in 2006, Romero blessed us by sharing the numerous unused midis for Doom that were composed by Bobby Prince. These files not only offered interesting insight into Bobby's creative process, but also served as an awesome resource for modders and have, unsurprisingly, been used in countless wads and mods since then. In 2015, Romero once again went above and beyond and released countless unused Doom sprites and other assets, and he actually shared with us the entire incomplete Doom 2 beta map set that was made several months before the game was even completed. Once again, this huge treasure trove of goodies was used by hundreds of modders across the Doom scene, and lots of mysteries about Doom 2's development process were solved once community members were able to look through these altered or unused assets for themselves. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and on Doom World today, users Abracadabra and Eggman07 shared this sad snippet from Romero himself, stating that he's no longer allowed to share unused assets or other development stuff, since id got pretty upset with him having done this already just a couple years ago. While this news is of course very sad for diehard Doom fans and modders, I don't want the tone to be too negative here. Uh, when it comes to most amazing games, we get to see almost nothing in the way of unused scraps. Conversely, with Doom, we've seen just about everything there is to see already, and through this continual sharing of assets over the years, we've been able to piece together basically the entire development process of Doom and Doom 2. There's not many other franchises this can be said for. I mean, compare this to the Mario series, where Nintendo will literally rip your head off and shit down your neck if you so much as think of trying to gain access to unused content. The only beta content from Super Mario World and Mario 64 that we've ever seen was through a giant, risky, and highly illegal leak that was done months ago. Considering how great we've had it, I'm just thankful for what we do have in the way of unused content. In the description, I'll be providing links to resources that contain these unused assets, so that those of you who have never had the joy of peeking through the stuff picked up off Doom's cutting room floor will finally get that joy. Also, just before I wrap this up, I want to make it crystal clear that we should give Romero our utmost thanks for all he has done for the community year after year. So few developers are this dedicated to the communities that sprung up around their old creations, and he was expressly sharing all this stuff with us until he was specifically told to stop, so we owe him all the thanks in the world for being so hospitable over the years. That's all for now, hopefully we'll see you around here again soon, and we'll be back to the usual sense of fun and positivity we all come to expect from Doom content, but for now, it's kind of a sad day. Anyway, take care everyone. See you again soon.